Santa Fe. Saturday at noon Eastern on C-SPAN 2's Book TV and Sunday at 5 on American History TV on C-SPAN 3. The Senate about to gavel back in. Members will resume work on a bill to suspend the debt limit until May 19th. Also included in the measure is a provision that would suspend member salaries if either the House or Senate has not adopted a budget by April 15th. The chamber has votes on amendments coming up and later a vote on final passage. Live now to the Senate floor here on C-SPAN. the debate equally divided prior to a vote in relation to amendment number seven offered by the senator from Ohio Mr. Portman. Madam Chair. Senator from Ohio. This amendment is a common sense amendment that would end government shutdowns as well as keep us from facing these last minute budget deals. For all regular programs or activities whose appropriation bill hasn't been approved, the End Government Shutdowns Act would automatically continue funding. No significant disruption, no crisis for citizens, no furloughed employees, and no rush to approve a budget agreement that folks simply haven't read. Doesn't take pressure off lawmakers altogether, however, because it forces us to complete our work by saying after 120 days, spending would be reduced by one percentage point and then every 90 days by one more percentage point to force the administration, Congress, both parties to come together to make sure we have a regular order and we have a process by which we can actually get appropriations bills done, which we haven't been doing around here. Instead of bouncing from crisis to crisis, worrying about government shutdowns, having to vote on rush bills that members haven't read, that staff haven't had time to review, this is a more sensible and logical way to proceed. The American people expect us to do it. Hope we get good support across the aisle, both sides, on this bipartisan approach. Madam President. The Senator from Maryland. Madam President, I oppose the uh, Portman Amendment. It would trigger an automatic CR with uh, spending cuts if Congress doesn't pass the appropriations bill or a CR. I understand the gentleman's goal, but I oppose it for three reasons. One, the amendment is really about cutting, but not about keeping the government open. An automatic CR with 1% cut every 90 days, which means it would be compounded. These would be compounded cuts, like compounded interest, when the Congress does not pass appropriations bill. So a cut every 90 days would be a 1% cut, then the following 90 days a 1% on that. The amendment also gives up the Congress's constitutional responsibility. If we go on autopilot, it gives the major power of the purse, which is mandated in the Constitution of Congress. It would give it to OMB and cabinet officers, essentially unelected political appointees. I don't think the Congress wants to give the power, of, or the American people want to give the power of the purse to uh, unelected political appointees. And also, I do agree, we do need to get back to regular order. And because I disagree with this amendment, Madam President, I move to table the Portman Amendment and ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? Senator from Ohio? There appears to be. There, appears to be. there is. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander, Ms. Ayotte, Ms. Baldwin, Mr. Barrasso, Mr. Baucus, Mr. Begich, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt, Mr. Bozeman, Mrs. Boxer, Mr. Brown, Mr. Burr, Ms. Cantwell, Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin, Mr. Carper, Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, 
Mr. Coates, Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Cruz. Mr. Donnelly. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Enzi. Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Fisher, Mr. Flake, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heinrich, Ms. Heitkamp, Mr. Heller, Ms. Hirono, Mr. Hoven. Mr. Inhoff, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Kane, Mr. Carey, Mr. King, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Ms. Landrew, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Levin, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. 
Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schatz. Hey, David, I voted no, right? Yes, sir. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Scott. Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Tester, Mr. Soon, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Ms. Warren, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Blumenthal, Coons, Donnelly, Durbin, Heitkamp, Landrieu, Mikulski, Murkowski, Reed of Nevada, Sanders, Warner, and White House. Senators voting in the negative, Barrasso, Burr, Cornyn, Fisher, Graham, Grassley, Isaacson, Portman, Scott, and Sessions. Mr. Cruz? No. Mr. Cruz? No. Mr. Manchin? Mr. Manchin? Aye. Mr. Baucus? Mr. Baucus? Aye. Mr. Risch? Mr. Risch? No. Mrs. Gillibrand? Mrs. Gillibrand? Aye. Mr. Schatz? Mr. Schatz? Aye. Ms. Warren? Ms. Warren? Aye. Mr. Vitter? Mr. Vitter? No. Mr. Harkin? Mr. Harkin? Aye. Mr. King? Mr. King? Aye. Mr. Tester? Mr. Tester? No. Mr. Begich. Mr. Begich? Aye. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin? Aye. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Chambliss? No. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota? Aye. Mr. Franken. Mr. Franken? Aye. Mr. Cochran. Mr. Cochran? No. Mr. Wyden. Mr. Wyden? Aye. Mr. Kane. Mr. Kane? Aye. Mr. Heinrich. Mr. Heinrich? Aye. Mr. Roberts? Mr. Roberts? No. Ms. Baldwin? Ms. Baldwin?
Aye. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Menendez? Aye. Ms. Cantwell. Ms. Cantwell? Aye. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Leahy? Aye. Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson? Aye. Ms. Ayotte, Ms. Ayotte, no. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bennett, aye. Mr. Hoven, Mr. Hoven, no. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, aye. Mr. Coburn, Mr. Coburn, no. Mr. Rubio, Mr. Rubio, no. Mr. Carper, Mr. Carper, aye. Mr. Toomey, Mr. Toomey, no. Mr. Merkley, Mr. Merkley, no. Mr. Alexander, Mr. Alexander, no. Mr. Merkley, Mr. Merkley, aye. Mr. Crapo, Mr. Crapo, no. Ms. Klobuchar, Ms. Klobuchar, Aye, Mr. Levin. Mr. Levin? Aye. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wicker? No. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Schumer? Aye. Mr. Udall. Mr. Udall of Colorado? Aye. Mr. Udall. Mr. Udall of New Mexico? Aye. Ms. Stabenow. Ms. Stabenow? Aye. Mrs. Boxer. Mrs. Boxer? Aye. Mr. Inhofe. Mr. Inhofe? Aye. Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy? Aye. Mr. Flake, Mr. Flake, no. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, aye. Mr. Johans, Mr. Johans, no. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inhofe, no. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, no. Mr. Moran, Mr. Moran, no. Mr. Corker, Mr. Corker, no. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Shelby, no. Mr. Reed, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, aye. Mr. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, aye. Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Lautenberg, aye. Mr. Heller, Mr. Heller, no. Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul, no. Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Feinstein, aye. Ms. Hirono, Ms. Hirono, aye. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates, no. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, no. Mr. Blunt, Mr. Blunt, no. Mr. Enzi, Mr. Enzi, no. Mr. Hatch, Mr. Hatch, no. Mr. Bozeman, Mr. Bozeman, no. 
Collins, Ms. Collins, aye. Mrs. Hagen, Mrs. Hagen, no. Mrs. Shaheen, Mrs. Shaheen, aye. Mr. McCain, Mr. McCain, no. Mr. McConnell, Mr. McConnell, no. Mr. Soon, Mr. Soon, no. Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rockefeller, aye. <laughs> Mrs. McCaskill, Mrs. McCaskill, no. Mr. Kirk, Mr. Kirk, no. Are there any senators wishing to vote or wishing to change their vote? On this vote, yeas 52, nays 46.
The amendment is tabled. Madam President. Majority Madam Leader. President, could we have order? The Senate will be in order. Madam President, we have four more votes. They've all been ordered just like this one was, a 10-minute vote, and we're going to stick with that. If people are not here, whether you've been here for 30 years or three days, we're going to close the vote. People have a lot of things to do, important things to do this afternoon. We can't delay these votes. This vote is 10, 15 minutes over what it should be. We're not going to do that this afternoon. The next vote will be 10 minutes plus the five-minute penalty period. That's it. Under the previous order, there will be two minutes of de debate, equally divided. Prior to a vote in, re <laughs> in relation to amendment number eight, offered by the senator from Pennsylvania, Mr. Toomey. Madam President. The, the Senate will be in order. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, the underlying bill that uh, we're going to vote on in a little while suspends the debt ceiling for a period of time, as we all know. My amendment doesn't change that fact, but it addresses one of the consequences of that fact. The fact is this bill suspends the debt ceiling, but it doesn't resolve the underlying problem. And so we're going to be back here in a few months with the same impasse that we've had in the past. What do we do about the mounting debt? What do we do about having reached the debt ceiling? And will we do anything about curbing the spending that is driving this problem? Now, I don't know about Madam you. President, the, Madam President, the Senate is not in order. The Senate will be in order. So, thank you, Madam President. So, so the fact is, we're going to be back at this. Madam President, Madam President, the Senate is not in order. The Senate will be in order. The senators shall take their conversations out of chamber. Thank you, Madam President. So my point is that we're going to be back at this situation where we will have reached the debt limit once again. We'll be at this impasse as to how to resolve this situation, and none of us can possibly know today how quickly that will be resolved. We just can't know how the other body will vote, how this body will vote, what the president will. We can't know. And it seems to me, given the inherent uncertainty, we ought to at least have a contingency plan that minimizes any disruption in the event that the debt ceiling is not raised immediately upon reaching the expiration of this period. And that's what this bill is all about, this amendment, I should say. My amendment is about minimizing the risk of disruption in the event that the debt ceiling is not raised at the moment that we, uh, the time expires. And what it does is it instructs the Treasury Secretary to prioritize Senator, three categories of payments. Expired. Let me ask uh, unanimous consent for 30 seconds to simply explain that this, this amendment would prioritize interest on our debt, social security payments, active duty military, and authorize the Treasury to raise the debt ceiling as necessary to cover those three categories. I would urge my colleagues to support the amendment. Thank you. Madam President. Senator from Montana. Uh, Madam President, um, I appreciate the intent of the Senator from Pennsylvania. When you stop and think about this amendment, it reminds us of the movie in the book Hunger Games. In Hunger Games, you'll recall, children were pitted against each other until one survived. Under this amendment, there are three categories that are protected, military pay, Social Security, and, and bondholders. Everybody else is out for him or herself. The secret, Treasury Secretary would have to decide who gets what money, what funds, whether it's food stamps, whether it's Medicare, whether it's Medicaid, whether it's Coast Guard, whatever it is, it'd be total chaos. And, just, and foods, people who, who find their food stamps cut would find themselves in greater hunger. This is a, this, this is a, 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 a very, very uh, disruptive amendment. You th think the country is worried about lack of confidence now. If this were the law, we'd be even, there'd be even less confidence. There'd be total chaos in this country. I cannot think of a more dis disruptive amendment that caused so many problems. It truly is a Hunger Games amendment. And I urge it it's to time be table the amendment. Table the um, to me amendment and ask for these things. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be, there is. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Alexander. Go, sir. Go, sir. Ms. Ayotte. 
Mr. Barrasso, Mr. Balkus, Mr. Beckage, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt, Mr. Bozeman, Mrs. Boxer, Mr. Brown, Mr. Bird, Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Carden. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates, Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins, Mr. Coons, Mr. Corker, Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Crapo, Mr. Cruz, Mr. Donnelly, Mr. Durbin, Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Fisher, Mr. Flake, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagan, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heinrich, Ms. Heitkamp, Mr. Heller, Ms. Hirono, thank you. Mr. Hoven. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Kane, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Ms. Landrew, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Levin, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pro. 
Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schatz. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Scott. Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. Do you need the envelope? I don't. Would you like it? It's your voice. Who's doing the one minute on the... Mr. Shelby. Ms. Sabanow. I'm sorry, I don't know. Mr. Tester. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Okay. Ms. Warren. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Baldwin, Beckage, Bennett, Blumenthal, Boxer, Brown, Cardin, Carper, Casey, Coons, Donnelly, Durbin, Feinstein, Gillibrand, Hagen, Harkin, Heinrich, Heitkamp, Hirono, Johnson, South Dakota, Kane, King, Klobuchar, Landrew, Lautenberg, Leahy, Levin, Manchin, McCaskill, Menendez, Merkley, Mikulski, Murphy, Nelson, Pryor, Reed of Rhode Island, Rockefeller, Sanders, Schott, Sabanow, Tester, Udall of Colorado, Udall of New Mexico, Warren, and Wyden. Ms. Cantwell, aye. Mr. Warner, aye. Senators vote in the negative. Alexander, Ayotte, Blunt, Bozeman, Burr, Chambliss, Coates, Coburn, Cochran, Collins, Corker, Crapo, Enzi, Fisher, Flake, Graham, Grassley, Hatch, Heller, Hoven, Inhoff, Isaacson, Johans, Johnson of Wisconsin, Lee, McConnell, Moran, Murkowski, Paul, Portman, Risch, Roberts, Scott, Shelby, Toomey, Vitter, and Wicker. Baucus. Mr. Baucus, aye. Mr. Whitehouse, aye. Mr. Cruz, no. Mr. Rubio, no. Mr. Schumer, aye. Yeah, before the next one starts. Mr. Franken, aye. Mrs. Shaheen, aye. Mr. Cornyn, no.
I should have said really sound. Mr. McCain. No, Ms. Brasso. Mr. Barrasso, no. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Aye. Is there any Mr. Thune? No. Now it's just <laughs> Mr. Sessions? No. Is there any senators wishing to vote or to change his or her vote? If not, this vote, the ayes are 53, the nays are 45. And the motion to table is agreed to. Madam President. Under the previous order, there will be two minutes of debate equally divided prior to a vote in relation to amendment number nine offered by the senator from Kentucky, Mr. Paul. This amendment would stop the transfer of F-16s. Senate, should come to order. This amendment would stop the transfer of F-16s and Abrams tanks to Egypt. Egypt is in danger of unraveling. Egypt is currently ruled by martial law. I think it unwise to give our most sophisticated weaponry to a country in such disarray. I think it unwise to give our most sophisticated weaponry to a country ruled by a president who recently said that Jews are bloodsuckers and descendants of apes and pigs. I hope our colleagues... Senate will be in order. I hope my colleagues will consider the ramifications of continuing to arm such an unstable regime, and I urge a vote in support of ending arms sales at this point to Egypt. Senator from Vermont. Madam President, would that this amendment... We have order. Order. Madam President, would that this... Uh, amendment was as simple as the junior senator from Kentucky described it. His amendment would enter our military assistance program, licenses for commercial sales of all major military equipment, including aircraft, ships, tanks, armored uh, parts, and so on.
It would mean a loss of thousands of American jobs. It would incur more than $2 billion in contract termination penalties for U.S. taxpayers. But we'd also put at risk our access to the Suez Canal, the overflights of the U.S. Air Force over Egyptian territory, cooperation in the Sinai, Gaza, Syria, uh, our emphasis and our ability to keep the Israeli-Egyptian peace agreement going. Uh, do I have problems with the way the Morsi government is going? Certainly. But removing our ability to be involved with keeping that peace agreement and our ability to influence those, this is not the way to do it. So let's, um, it's short-sighted, it's harmful to U.S. security um, arrangements, and I move to table and I ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. Clerk will call the roll. Call the roll. Mr. Alexander. Ms. Aya. Ms. Baldwin. Mr. Barrasso. Mr. Baggage, Mr. Bennett, <laughs> Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt, Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer, Mr. Brown, Mr. Burr, Ms. Cantwell, Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper, Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Coon. Mr. Corker, Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Crapo, Mr. Cruz, Mr. Donnelly, Mr. Durbin. I the table. 
Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Fisher, Mr. Flake, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch. Mr. Heinrich. Ms. Heitkamp. Next window. We have two windows. Mr. Heller, Mr. Rono, Mr. Hoven. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Kane, Mr. Carey, Mr. King, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Clarkar, Ms. Landry, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Levin. When Kane's talking about contracts, he knows he's digging for arguments. Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain. Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski. Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Murray, <laughs> Mr. Nelson, <laughs> Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, <laughs> Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada, Mr. Rich, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Rockefeller. Still making up my mind on this. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders, Mr. Schatz, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Scott, Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. <laughs> Mr. Shelby. Ms. Stabenow. Mr. Chester. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Ms. Warren. Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden, 
those voting in the affirmative. Alexander, Baldwin, Baucus, Begich, Blumenthal, Blunt, Boxer, Brown, Burr, Cantwell, Cardin, Carper, Casey, Chambliss, Coburn, Cochran, Coons, Corker, Donnelly, Enzi, Feinstein, Flake, Franken, Gillibrand, Graham, Hagen, Harkin, Hatch, Heitkamp, Hirono, Hoven, Inhoff, Isaacson, Johans, Johnson of South Dakota, Kane, King, Kirk, Klobuchar, Landrew, Lautenberg, Leahy, Levin, Manchin, McCain, McCaskill, Menendez, Merkley, Mikulski, Murkowski, Murphy, Nelson, Portman, Pryor, Reed of Rhode Island, Reed of Nevada, Rockefeller, Sanders, Schatz, Shaheen, Stabenow, Tester, Toomey, Udall of Colorado, Udall of New Mexico, Warner, Warren, White House, Wicker, Wyden. Ms. Collins, aye. Ms. Ayotte, 